You want the good news or the bad news first? Give me the bad. Thanks to our sponsors at Rugged Radios, you can go to their website and enter the code FASTRADIO for a discount. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to TFL's original game show. Is it faster than a Fiesta ST? And today, we have a special contestant. That's right, it's the P word, a Porsche. And coming up right now, we're gonna find out if it's faster than a Fiesta ST. Nathan, tell them what we're playing for. You're playing for dandelions. Heck, the only person who uses the word dandy is Roman. He also says fiddlesticks. Anyway, you're playing for dandelions. They're beautiful, they're lionish, and they're yellow. Under the hood of our returning champion is a 1.6 liter turbo that puts out almost 200 horsepower. And under the hood of the 2006 Porsche Boxster is, well, is nothing. Actually, there's a Porsche air compressor. Look at that. Because this is a mid-engine car that when it was new, put out about 200 horsepower. So. We need drivers for both. Who's gonna drive which car? Andre, come on over here. Correction, 240 horsepower. We here at TFL are nothing but precise. Andre, come on over here. I wanna drive the Fiesta. All right, Andre, you drive the Fiesta, and Tommy, you drive, where's Tommy? Where is Tommy? He went back to school. Oh. All right, Nathan, you drive the port. Where's Nathan? I don't know. He's at home. Oh. All right, I'm gonna drive the Porsche. So let's spin to see what the first game will be. Wheel of Destiny selections. There's Switch, that's switching drivers. Drag Race, that's pretty self-explanatory. Hot Lap, getting around the track as fast as possible. Zero to 60 fully loaded, that's maximum passengers shoved inside the car and the best zero to 60 time. Jeff, our big teddy bear, used inside the vehicle for space. Fuel economy, three laps around the track, measuring the fuel economy. Rev battle, you rev it for good sound. Let me give it a whirl. And as always, the wheel of destiny is completely and utterly rigged. Look at oh. that, rev battle. I like rev battles. Mm. Andre, I just no. thought of something. Who's actually gonna judge this? Who? I don't know who. The audience will judge it. No, the audience can't judge it. That we won't know who won this game show. It would be weird. Zach, you judge. Which one won? Oh, Porsche, definitely. You cannot beat that 2.7 liter horizontally opposed engine. That exhaust note, yes, has got no chance. In our completely unrigged and fair game show, Porsche wins even before the Fiesta has had a go. But you know what, let's listen to it anyway. Go for it, Andre. These two cars couldn't be more different if we tried, but there is one thing that they have in common. Can you guess what that is? But well, let's talk about what makes them different. First, we have a front wheel drive car versus a rear wheel drive car. We have a four cylinder versus a flat six. We have a turbo versus normally aspirated. We have a hard top hatch versus a convertible. But what makes them very similar is their price. The Fiesta costs us about $18,000. The Porsche is worth between 16 and $17,000. And by the way, if you're interested, we're selling it. Send us an email to info at TFL car and that Boxster can be yours. Andre, spin the wheel of destiny. Whee! Round and round it goes where it stops. Well, I know. <laughs> You do? <laughs> I do. Yeah, it's a drag race! Oh boy, I think the Porsche is gonna lose. Yeah, it might. Hey Roman, you know, um, these cars weigh about the same. Do we weigh about the same though? About. All right, let's do this, dude. All right, I'm a little worried here. This car has no torque until you get to about 4,000 RPM. And that one with the turbo has torque. So even though I've got more power, I've got less torque. All right, here we go. Go! Oh. <laughs> Do you have one more try? Yeah, 
sure thing. One more try. You know. Uh, um, the great thing about rear wheel drive mid engines is the power goes to the rear wheels, which have a lot more weight over them because when you're, of course, accelerating, all the weight gets pushed to the back of the car, so you don't get as much wheel spin like you do. That is very true. Very true. A little bit better started. You know what? I'm going to also run the solid yellow. I want to find out how fast it is from zero to 60. So, um, let me put that on. Are you guys faster than either? Myself or Andre. Well, there's one way to find out. Come out here to I My Motorsports. Let them know the TFL sends you. You'll get a discount and you can put in some track time. Yeah, I got a bad start, uh, but I did. Uh, it was able to get a zero to sixty times. Seven point nine six. Seven point nine six. So who won? I guess you did. Uh, I won, dude. Yeah. I won. I won. Just by nose. Andre, spin it one more time for the third and final game. The other way. Come on, come on. Look at that. Hot lap. Boom. Wait, wait, why is it moving backwards? Somehow it wants fuel economy. <laughs> but these are sports no, cars. No, no fuel I'm economy. I'm going, I'm going hot lap. Okay, let go. It is rigged and I'm not doing it. <laughs> hey, Andre, uh, do you know there are two things I can do that you can't do? <laughs> no, I did not know that. Yeah, number one, I can go faster around this track. And number two, I can get a tan while doing it. Andre, what are you going to do with the traction control on this car for the hot lap? I'm going to put it in sport mode because I'm not Paul. I'm not a professional racing driver, so sport mode. Yeah, the cool thing about both these cars is you can completely disable it. The first time you hit the button, it puts it in sport mode. And if you hold it down, it completely turns it off. Now, this car has Porsche stability control, which is engaged, which is very similar to sport mode in that. And if you hold it down continually, it turns it off. Now, I'm just going to leave it in its sport setting. Okay. But the cool thing is you can turn it completely off if you're Paul, not us. Get ready, get set, go! All right, I'm going to keep it in the power band. This could be a second gear kind of, kind of, kind of lap. I don't know if I have to do a lot of shifting. That was fast, but that was sure a lot of fun. Well, I have some good news and some bad news. So, give me the bad news first. Um, I got a tan while standing there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's the good news? The good news, I think you got a good time. 11044, huh? Yeah. All right. You know, the car looked good. It, it looked like it was rotating around the corner. It, it was fine. It's perfectly trackable. I mean, you can just tell when it's about to lose grip. And second gear for this small track seems just about right. I bet your Paul could take like four seconds off that. But the question is, can you, Andre? Oh. All right, your turn. This episode of Is It Faster Than a Fiesta ST is brought to you by our friends over at Rugged Radios. If you like these, and we do, use the discount code FASTRADIO for a significant discount by clicking on the link below. Roman threw down the gauntlet with the Porsche. That Porsche has a pretty amazing car for handling. But so is the Fiesta, it just comes down to what I can do. All right, you ready, Andre? Yes. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try to be very quick. I might use a little bit of tires. I'm gonna try to use the best line. No more time for games. Come on! Go! 
go, 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 go! I'm preparing myself. All right, the bad news, Andre, yeah. is that I got like a glorious tan, <laughs> twice as much tan as you did. Okay. <laughs> so sorry, I definitely am the you, you tan of the two. Yeah. You look good. Good news. What? 109.44. I can't believe it. Congratulations. You know what? I went all out. You did good. I used a little bit of tire. <laughs> used a little bit of tire. <laughs> There's much tire left. Nice work, Andre. Good work. Thank you. So, um, there's nothing to be said, but, uh, you know, we need to give you uh, your prizes. Looking Ooh. around for, well, you know what, Let, Nathan, tell him what he's won. <laughs> Congratulations to my favorite Soviet, Andre, you've won. Oh, wait a minute, nah, you really didn't win. Porsche won the rev battle and it won the drag race, so. Oh yeah. I won. Game. Congratulations, Roman! You've won dandelions! Now you have a chance to put them in your hair and look ruby. Nathan, thank you so much for making, well, my week. As always, guys, this is Roman and Andre saying thanks for watching and check out tflcar.com for more news views and real world game show reviews. Andre, I couldn't possibly take it. It's all yours. But, but it's not a review, it's right? Hey, uh, boots and pants there. My camera doesn't work. Hold on. You know what they say about the camera, Andre? That's right, it's not how big it is, but how it works. And yours is small and it doesn't work. Stop talking about my camera, okay? Yeah, but it's still small.